Hey, welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. It's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. <laughs> you want a huge pillow? I got one for you. Look at this monster right here. It is 36 inches by 36 inches. It's huge. And this is using Bernat Mix Home Yarn and this is a really fun project and it's using the horizontal bars when it comes to the half double crochet. I'm going to show you just to quickly how this is done and then I'm gonna explain it because there's actually f a three panels. One and then on the back there's two and three. Let's talk about these next. So on the front panel you can see this is one complete unit going all the way and you are going to go 92 chains and then you're just going to just come back across and you're going to just half double crochet and then the remaining of the rows are just half double crochets in the horizontal bar which I'll show you how that's done. Now when you look at the back version you can see here it's actually two separate units and let me just come in a little bit closer for you and you're going to notice is that there's one unit up here and one unit down here. This allows you to get that monstrosity out of there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge pillow. So you're gonna go back and forth, you'll make two of these and then it's asking you to do a rib edging that you will um, apply to it. You'll sew this to it. So um, this allows it to have the overlap. If you do never wanna rescue this pillow out of here, <laughs> I don't even know why this is funny. You could make two panels like the front and just sew it together. <laughs> <laughs> and leave that pillow in there and uh, you know that's a really kind of an awesome idea. I'm one of those kind of people once I crochet a pillow it's in there for life but if you'd like to pull it out to be able to wash it or if you would like to change it out with something else later you can do so. So today I'm gonna go through the ins and outs on how to do this particular project. I'm sorry that I'm giggling today. Um, I just think this pillow is huge. <laughs> okay let's get started. So here's a sample of what it looked like. Now I wanna just tell you, because I did such a small sample, you see how it's bunching up like this? Because the pillow is 36 inches like we talked about, you're going to notice that it'll probably just go partially away across and then it'll be starting to switch. If you look at the sample, you'll notice that the colors do not bunch up in any way. That's because the pillow is massive. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is to get started. Now you have the pip squeak here, you have the burnout blanket, you have the chunky here, and you have the boucle as part of it. Once you get used to this type of concept it's really not hard. I wanna show you a tip though that's not written in the pattern because I always lose a stitch when it comes to half double crochets. I'm gonna show you my little trick. Take it or leave it. You decide what's gonna be right for you. So without further ado I'm going to use a different yarn because you can't really see where the stitches are here when you're on camera here with me because you can't manipulate it and you're gonna tell me to move my fingers and stuff like because I just know that's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna use some Bernat Softy Chunky yarn in order to demonstrate the stitch today. Okay, so let's pretend we're looking at Bernat Mix Home. And you can also use Bernat uh, Home Bundle too if you'd like to. Those are kind of similar. They're a little bit differently but they're, they're very similar. So it says to chain 92. I'm only gonna just do 10 because it's just a tutorial today just to show you how it's done. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If you would like to do the whole thing with on the camera going 92 just put me on hold now and I'll wait for you. Okay, now you should be done. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today folks. I just, uh, I just high on caffeine I think. So what we have today was what we're going to go across our first row and we're gonna go third chain from the hook. So you're gonna count it back. So one, two, go to the third chain and just half double crochet yourself in the back loop or the back hump of the chain all the way across. No big deal, right? So that's pretty easy. So you're gonna do that all the way across your chain and I'll see you at the end of this chain where we'll turn around and then we'll really start playing with this pattern for what it's showing. So you can get all the way to the end. Honey, if you're missing a stitch at this point, does it really matter? Probably not. So just make sure you did your best and you got evenly all the way across. So now we're gonna turn and work and here's my tip. It says to chain two which counts as a half double crochet in this but I'm gonna tell you it's not. Okay, so you decide what works for you. Whenever I chain two and it counts as a half double crochet, I always screw it up. Always. I always miss a stitch and then I end up turning my squares into triangles. <laughs> okay. So let's chain two. Let's not say that's counted as a ha uh, half double crochet. And what I want to do is that I wanna play in the horizontal bar. Okay. So when I come straight down, see the horizontal bar is the second one in Okay, so the top one here is the normal stitch but see this one here? That's the horizontal bar. So I wanna start off with this horizontal bar that's in the first one and I wanna wrap the hook and I wanna go into that bar. So I, I wanna just isolate that bar in front of the project 
and then yarning over, pulling through and then pull through all three. Now that I've got the first bar, I'm looking for the next bar. Do you see it? It's the second one down and you wrap the hook and you're gonna go into those here. Once you get used to the motion of this, it's not hard at all. It's just a matter of getting yourself started and getting the right stitch. So if you went to the top one, what would that be? That would be a front loop. Okay, so you're going to into the horizontal bar and essentially what appears to be knitting is happening on the other side of the project and I'll turn it in just a few minutes. So we're just going in the horizontal bar only and you're working and collecting them all as you go. Now because you're working your way all the way across, you wanna make sure that you not only get into the second last one, but you also wanna not forget that about that turning chain. And you're thinking, okay, we didn't really turn yet. You, this is where I kind of screw up. I screw up actually more on the front side than I do the back side of this. So the last one has to go in there and what you can do if you really want to, just go into a regular turning chain. Totally cheating the system today aren't we folks? That's gonna get sewn together with its friend anyway. So now you're gonna turn your work. So now you're gonna just chain two and you're gonna do the same thing. So starting in the first one, see how it's a lot more looser? <laughs> that's because I'm getting loose here on, on camera folks. But that's because I'm used to this pattern already. So you kinda come straight down, you're gonna wrap the hook and then just get the, the loop. Did I show you what it did already? <laughs> I don't think so. So do you see this line? That's what we're creating by going into the horizontal bar. This video is a disaster today. <laughs> Don't give me any likes today because I don't deserve it but I'm just a little bit giddy today. I have no reason why. Actually Facebook is kind of down right now <laughs> and all these people are flipping out because Facebook is down. People should actually be working. Well at least some of my friends. <laughs> okay so we're just going in the horizontal bar and then don't forget the last one. So you can either go in the turning chain or you can go in the horizontal bar. You determine what's what's your, what's your deal. So then you're gonna turn your work. So chain two and coming straight down. And then doing, see how I'm speeding up? Now with the mix, the Bernat uh, mix, what's it called, mix home. Uh, with that one, it's a little more difficult to see uh, with the boucle and the pipsqueak but it's not impossible because once you understand the yarn, you can actually see it. Um, or you can at least feel it with your, your hook as you're going in and out. So all you're just going to do for the front panel of this is that you're just gonna work your way up to, it gets a total of what's to say 36 inches tall. <laughs> Are you surprised? It was a 36 inch by 36 inch pillow. So you're just gonna go back and forth and you're going to notice that these ridges are going to be starting to appear. Do you see that on the other sample? So these ridges. So it gives you the texture that you love. And then once you're done with that, the 36 inches you're done. So the back one, you're also going to be able to um, do a piece of that as well. So let's talk about the back next and it's very similar to this. The only difference is that we're gonna add a ridge. Okay, so let's just say this is our front done. We wanna do the back. Now the back, because it has that particular um, seam line, you'll have to do two of these. Do you see that you have like this a ribbing right here. We're gonna create that first and then you're gonna do two of those and you're going to have it slightly stretched so that they're 36 inches um, 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 long and then what's gonna happen is that we're going to then start the second panel evenly spacing 90 half double crochets across here. Is it 90? 90 half double crochets across and then you start from that point then the horizontal bar to finish it and it's only 22 inches tall. You're going to do the exactly the same thing for the bottom piece. You're gonna do the ribbing first goes to 36 inches just take a tape measure and, and get it as close as you can and then evenly space 90 half double crochets across and then work down. Once you have these done then you can just sew then all the way around and then this, there will be opening here. You can uh, slip in your hand there to get the pillow in and out if you need to. And of course if you don't want this kind of concept, you can just uh, make the second piece just like solid and then just sew it all the way around. So let me show you how to do the ribbing next and then we'll carry on. So let's do the ribbing. So the ribbing, we're only gonna start with a chaining of eight. And so you're just gonna chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then second chain from the hook, you're just going to single crochet in the back hump or the back loop of the chain all the way back. 
Now you're thinking to yourself, well maybe not, but maybe you, you were, is this that maybe you're thinking, I don't know what you're thinking at this point. <laughs> Crochet along the chain. Don't mind the monkey behind the camera today. So if you're thinking to your point of view is that, I don't even know what you're thinking. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep on going. Just chain across. Oh yeah, my point was if you go in the back hump of a chain, you can always get it to look perfect on the other side. So all that just to tell you that. So I know, brilliant. So you're gonna turn your work and then you're gonna chain up one and you're gonna go in the back loop only. So if you see the stitch, you'll see that there's two strands together they make up um, a stitch. But if you go into the furthest one, it's the back loop and if, if you go into the front one here, it's a front loop. So what you wanna do is that go in the back loop only and you're going to single crochet in the back loop all the way across. Now, you're gonna continue to do this same thing going until it's 36 inches long. I don't know, I didn't. If you want a smaller pillow, just uh, lay it down over top of a pillow that you wanna get and uh, you can do it that way too. It's up to you. So turn your work and then start the next one. Ch chain one in the back loop only. So what I'm gonna just do is that I'm gonna do a few more rows like this and then I'm gonna just quickly review on how you start the next part of the back and just make sure you get that. And I'm gonna leave the sewing for you. We do have tutorials. I would whip stitch your um, your um, project together in order to have a really nice seam line at the end. And it does say to, let me just say, it says to sew the pieces together. So you could sew the pieces together but if you're really skilled with a crochet hook you probably could single crochet the panels together too. Just saying, always options. You are the des designer to make it, make what works for you. So you're just gonna keep on going back and forth and when you're satisfied you don't have to fasten off. You wanna just keep on going. So I'm gonna say that this is 36 inches long <laughs> and uh, I'm going to start going across then the top. So you just say this is 36 inches and then when you're ready to go all you're just going to do then is that you are going to chain up two and then just single evenly space 90 half double crochets across the top of this ribbing. Therefore you don't have to sew this ribbing together at all to the project. It's already crocheted into place and you just evenly space it. You notice that I'm not counting, I'm just evenly spacing it. Turning your work and then what we're going to do then is chain up two does not count as a double, half double crochet and go in the horizontal bar again and start that process of just working in the horizontal bars. This total distance of this panel is a total of 22 inches. You're gonna need two of these and then you're just gonna have to sew it together on your project. Um, it's really not a hard project at all. If anything it's a nice time buster but you know if you don't want to use a 36 inch pillow because that is pretty obsessive because um, you know it takes up space and stuff. You just you can use this concept for smaller pillows and uh, I think you could have a lot of fun with it and the Bernat Mix Home is a really kind of a fun yarn to play with in the first part. So and it's kind of addictive to see how everything comes together. So this is really how you would do it and you can see you have now the ribbing and now the top part of the back panel and then you'll do the same thing for the second one and so everything together. So that's my tutorial today. Hopefully I didn't screw up too much today. I'm sure I did. <laughs> I'm sure you'll let me know and this is would be what how you would complete this concept and this here is the textured crochet four pillow, four pillow that's 36 inches by 36. See ya.